morning. I am leaving the house. What time is that? Non-digital clock. Who needs them? 10.52, Sunday. I am, it is 36 degrees. It's a little windy, but this really is good we uh, weather for me for running. Oh, I probably should have brought some gloves, but um, I'm headed to the trail. I decided to drive. Last Sunday, I ran to the trail. Um, kind of changed it up a little bit but I'm decided to drive because I'm gonna go do my errands a bunch of my errands after I run um, I might go shopping I never went shopping last night I might go shopping today because I have some Old Navy cash I have a Victoria's Secret um, gift card I have hold on guys Victoria's Secret gift card. I have a merchandise credit at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, that's something I wanted to get there, but now I forget. So, I am um, going to go run my 5K Sunday. Feeling pretty good about it. I was uh, down a few ounces. How do I feel about that? Um, I feel like it just proves my point that I can't eat every day like maintenance calories which should be around 1500 for me really um i had probably 1200 calories um and i lost a smidgen like um i weighed myself like 12 times because it kept fluctuating just a tiny bit like 156.6 or 154 154 4 154 6 154 5 and I, t I did it until I got a duplicate number, which was 154, <laughs> four, which I believe is down 0.2. Um, I really expected a little bit more because I went to bed hungry. Like, not ravenous like Friday or anything, but I went to bed hungry and wanting a few peanut M&Ms, uh, maybe some nuts or something, but I didn't do it. I'm surprised because I had two cocktails with the girls. Well, I had two heart seltzers. Um, I put in my book what that what everything cost me. I don't have it with me, but I feel like it was like 1,200 calories. I was under on everything for carb manager macros. I was under on fat, under on carbs by by one, and um, under on protein. So I was close on protein and fat, but not close not close enough to be like oh I did you know just perfect. And two, something just came up on my phone, but I had two, um, yep, my sister-in-law is calling me. Sorry, my nieces and nephews were calling because they got my package, my Valentine's Day package. I sent them a bunch of shit. My sister-in-law texted me last night. She's like, thanks for everything. <laughs> you can hear the tone in the text. Yeah, I'm going to um, go do my run. And then I'm going to do a bunch of errands. So I'll check in with you guys after my run. I feel pretty good. So I'm I'm not trying to kill, crush any numbers. I had a quest bar this morning. So I should be fine energy-wise. Um, it's very bright. But I'm just, uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be a little cold. That'll be okay, right? Um, I'll check it in a bit. Hey, you guys! What movie's that from? No one ever answered me on my last one. <laughs> when I was dead on balls accurate, that's my cousin Nemi. <laughs> um, so I'm leaving. Let me just tell you, my lungs are burning. So, <laughs> last night, we are laying in bed, and... Okay, buddy. Guess you think you own the place. 
we were laying in bed and Derek's like, ah, oh, something's burning. He didn't jump up or anything. He just was like, Tate's in there burning something. And I was like, Tate, what's going on? And he's like, I forgot to put water in my mac and cheese cup. And we were in bed, so it was like 8.30, 9 o'clock or something. And he's like, I forgot to put water in the mac and cheese cup. And we're like, fuck, Tate. Like, Derek still didn't get up. And he's like, I can see smoke. And I was like, okay. Well, I ran into the kitchen and it was filled, filled with smoke. And I was like, Jesus, Tate, you should have said, hey, mom, I need help. Or, you know, it doesn't make me feel very good that if there was an emergency that you would do something, you know. And he was like, um... I, 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 w I thought I had it under control <laughs> and uh, you could tell he had been like trying to fix the problem and breathing in all the smoke he ran outside then and was trying to catch his breath and I was like buddy you can get really sick from smoke inhalation and I'm sitting there trying to fan out the kitchen it was so like this happened not that long ago like I had this uh, from the pizza um, the pizza stump that's what I wanted <laughs> um, I knew there was something. Um, so I already like have been nervous about how we filled the house with smoke, and then he just did it again. Everything, like every, my hair, everything just stunk so bad of smoke. Our bedroom. So I like lit. I lit a couple candles, and I put on like this. I have this house diffuser thing. It's so amazing. I don't think they make them anymore. It's an it's a lamp, and it diffuses, you know, whatever filling stuff you fill, fill it with. It's like an oil diffuser, but it's not. You light a wick, and it diffuses that way. We've had a, like a few things where, like, shit just stunk, like water damage and smoke, things like that at my in Kenosha, and we use these things, and it would like take the smell away like within a day. I don't think it's curing any of the problems. I just think it, you know, covers it up. But it was bothering Derek this morning, so I had to turn it, you know, uh, extinguish it. Anyways, so my lungs were feeling a little bit, um, last night I was having trouble breathing. I was coughing a little bit, and I have a bunch of phlegm when I woke up. The smell is just about gone in the house, but I think we all breathed in smoke a lot last night. <clears throat> So when I was out there on the trail, my lungs were just fucking burning. I don't know if it was because it's 35 degrees, 34 degrees, and wind, a little wind, or if it was from the smoke. I always think, I'm probably like stupid, but I always think about when I'm running that I'm like killing all the stuff, bad stuff inside me. <laughs> like my lungs, there's no way like bad cells could survive um, like all that stress. <laughs> So I feel like I'm not going to get COVID, you know, I'm going to be, I'm super strong because of this fasting and, um, fasting and, uh, running and yoga. I just feel like I'm building my immune system, you know, um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I was running my first mile and I looked down at my watch and I was like at a 1030 pace. I was like, wow, you know, I think last sat Sunday, cause I do 5k Sundays now. Um, well, that's a plan always. <laughs> uh, it's a, it was 11, 11 something. I didn't feel like I was like super trying. My lungs were burning though today. So it was an effort to keep that pace going, but I did it proud of myself I told Derek I was done he goes oh you're done already lightning fast Marylander I was telling Joanne texted me this morning and uh, she was like I love the book that Tracy sent you and I I need to tell Tracy again I've been doing the crossword puzzles I'm gonna do I'm gonna color the pictures there's like um violations you can cut out and hand people. <laughs> I'm going to take it to Atlantic City and play the games. <laughs> oh, I do love it. I love it so much, Tracy. It makes me laugh literally out loud um, in the bathtub every night. I've, I've taken it down. I'm, I've done two crossword puzzles. Um, 
I did a spot the difference. I just love it. Such a perfect gift. Nothing, I mean really, nothing means more to me than when I get something and I can tell the people are like, oh, you know, I just know you so well and I knew you would love this. And I, those are the kind of gifts I love to buy for people, real, real thoughtful ones, you know? Maybe it's not the most expensive thing, but very thoughtful. Like you guys know I love fun socks. And she sent me two pairs of fun socks. And she sent me the keto fat bounds. Like, it just oh, warms my heart when people put in effort. <laughs> because that's my love language acts of service and I, I look at that as being an act of service like hunting and finding things for someone that you love but I gotta remember not everybody speaks the same love language <laughs> so I'm gonna go do my errands that feels so great to have that finish and not have to worry about it hunger's pretty good it's noon now and uh, not too hungry I'm thirsty drink some waters I'm gonna go do my errands I'm gonna talk to my friend Sarah tonight the one that's coming in from Florida I'll make sure I tape some videos with uh, everybody this weekend so I can put a like a, a group uh, you know splice them all together so you guys can see who I'm talking about um Yeah, I just got a bunch of errands to do and that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go to GNC. I'm excited to go to GNC and get some, um, I might get a few more uh, built bars and some Quest chips if they got them. Cause that was nice to have with the, um, with the chicken salad. Even though I like the tortillas more and I feel I get more bang for my buck, I do, um, and I decided I'm going to kind of do the same thing for Tuesday and Friday morning. Did I tell you guys that already? I, um, I was going to do like just a chicken and some vegetables, which I might, you know, on Tuesday. But I think I'm going to try to do the same about thing Friday morning too. Like I'm going to have a bag for Friday. Um, cause I don't know, like you don't, I, I say I might have drink. I might not, I might have something. At least I'll have a bag of stuff until we go out, um, on Friday night. One of the girls is hosting a cocktail party for me at a restaurant. So I want to have food on me that's smart until then. <laughs> and then the diet fucking goes out the window. I don't even care. I really don't. Like, sometimes I worry about it and stuff. Not this time. I'm not worried about um, my birth. You know, I'm just going to have a good time and I'm going to eat what I want and drink what I want, really. I'll probably make some poor decisions when I'm drinking and stuff, but I feel like I have a grip on what I need to do and I'll be fine when I come back doing that, you know? I'll just keep doing what I'm doing right now. I gotta go um, do a few errands and I'll check in with you guys later. Hi guys. I wanted to show you, I've been busy. Um, all my stuff I got from GNC. I got these. These are for a trip. <laughs> I have five different kinds of the protein chips. Sour cream and onion, ranch, cheddar and sour cream, nacho cheese, and barbecue. Quest cookies. I actually got these from Walmart. Peanut butter chocolate chip. I did get this one from GNC. It's a chocolate chip. Um, I had brought home my electrolytes, but, uh, these are the ones I drink. But I didn't take any this weekend because I was eating. It has, I told you this before, but 120 milligrams of magnesium and a thousand, thousand milligrams of potassium. Uh, 30, about 30% of your magnesium and only 20% of your potassium, but something, right? I got three, four more belt bars, two. Um, peanut butter and two double chocolate, but I ate one of the double chocolates today. 
I got these protein almonds. They looked very good. They were only um, 13. There were only three carbs, three net carbs. So they looked really good. So I got them dark chocolate truffle flavor. We'll see. That's what I got. And I'm about to calculate what I actually ate to see where I'm at for the night. I had chicken salad again. This is the only thing that's left. Very good. Was it very good, Derek? So it was very good. Um, I do have a pickle left and some lettuce. Ever eat everything else? So I'm gonna do my calculations and see. I have to talk to my one girlfriend who's coming in Thursday. And I did my 5K. And just been busy. Went shopping a little bit. Did some errands. Getting tired though. It's about 6.30. I've been up, got up at 6.45. So, yep, 6.30. So I'm going to talk to my friend. I'm not sure I'll check in again, but I'm hopeful that I'll be down. I gotta cut Tate's hair and take a shower, so I got shit to do.